Hi everybody, this is Rob Windsor, and in this SharePoint developer quick tip, I'm going to show you how to add TypeScript support to your SharePoint projects in Visual Studio. The first step is to ensure that you have the most recent TypeScript tooling in Visual Studio. We can do that by going to the TypeScript site. I'll go here to Google and type in uh, TypeScript and hit enter. And then here's the site, www typescriptlang.org and here you can see a link where I can download TypeScript version 1.8 and if I scroll down a little bit we can see there's also a download button here in the body of the page and here's where I can download the tooling for different versions of Visual Studio. I've already done this so I can come over to Visual Studio I'm going to be using Visual Studio 2013 but the same steps apply if I'm using Visual Studio 2015. I'll create a new project. I'm going to create an app project, but the same steps apply if I'm creating a SharePoint solution uh, down here. So I'll choose Apps, App for SharePoint, I'll click OK. I'll create a SharePoint hosted app targeting one of my local SharePoint sites. Uh, click Next, choose SharePoint 2013, and click Finish. Now that we have our Visual Studio project, we're going to modify the project file to enable TypeScript support. Now I've also seen that you can use a JSON configuration file called tsconfig.json, but I've never actually been able to get that to work. And when I've Googled around, I've, I've seen lots of issues. So I know modifying the Visual Studio project file does work. So that's the technique I'm going to show you. To modify the project file, I'll come to the project in the Solution Explorer, right-click, and choose Unload Project. Once the project has been unloaded, I'll again right-click and choose Edit the Config File. Now I'm going to add some configuration. Um, I don't think you have to add it at the bottom, but I always do. Uh, so I'll just add a new line here. And then I'll come over here to this notepad file where I have the configuration. I'll put this configuration in the notes for the video so you don't have to worry about trying to copy it down right now. The one really important line in this configuration is this line here. And this is the line that actually tells Visual Studio about the TypeScript compiler. Um, the rest of the settings here will actually be shown in the project properties. I'll show you that in a second. So while this is an example of some default settings, you can change these later on. So I'll copy all of this to the clipboard, come back to Visual Studio, and I'll paste them in here. And then I'll save. I'll close the project file. I'll right-click on the project in the Solution Explorer and choose Reload Project. So at this point, if I again right-click on the project, and then choose Properties, I should see a setting for or a section for TypeScript here in my project properties. And this is where I can change the default settings that I have here in my configuration snippet. So now that we have TypeScript support, we can come back to Visual Studio, close this, go to our Scripts folder. I don't have to put the TypeScript in the Scripts folder, but I'm just going to do that because that's where my other scripts already are. I'll right-click and choose Add, New Item. Then from the Web section, I'll scroll down and choose TypeScript File, and I'll call this guy Demo.ts. The extension for a TypeScript file is TS. Then I'll open up the App.js that came as part of the solution template. That's the code behind for the default page. And I'll just grab all of it, copy it to the clipboard, come over to demo.ts, and paste it in. Now, this video isn't about how to write TypeScript. It's about how to add TypeScript support to Visual Studio projects. Uh, but I will cover a little bit here. TypeScript is strongly typed JavaScript, uh, at least during development time. So right now, I'm getting some errors because TypeScript doesn't know about these identifiers. SP or dollar sign. 
So what I'll do for now is I'll just tell Visual Studio, or really tell the TypeScript compiler, that while you don't know about these identifiers, I'm going to tell you that they're okay to use. So I'll do that by saying here, declare uh, var sp and declare var dollar sign. And now I'll save. So what happens is when I save a TypeScript file, Visual Studio sends that to the TypeScript compiler, and it compiles the TypeScript into JavaScript. And then if it's a new file, it adds those JavaScript files into my project. So if I come over to the Solution Explorer and choose Show All Files, we'll see now I have a demo.js and a demo.js map. So this JS file is the compiled version of the TypeScript file. And the map file is used so we can do debugging in Visual Studio. We can debug our TypeScript, even though it's actually our JavaScript that's running. So what I want to do is I want to add these two files into my Visual Studio project. So I'll select them. I'll right-click and choose Include in Project. I'll stop showing all files. And now what I want to do is go to my element manifest here and ensure that demo.js and demo.js map are being included in the solution package. If you're not that familiar with SharePoint hosted apps, every SharePoint hosted app includes a sandbox solution. Now I'll come back to my demo.ts file. I'll make one small change so that when we run, we know for sure we're running our, our compiled TypeScript. So I'll change the text here to hello uh, from TypeScript. I'll save. That will regenerate the demo.js file. Visual Studio is telling me that that happened. So I'll click yes here. I'll come over to my default page, and I'll tell it to, instead of using app.js, to use our new demo.js, and then I'll run the app. And there you can see, hello from TypeScript, Rob Windsor. That means that our page is running our compiled TypeScript. So we've now added TypeScript support to our Visual Studio SharePoint project. There's lots more to learn about TypeScript. Uh, I'm personally a really big fan. I think it adds a lot of value, particularly when you start talking about larger code bases and team development. Uh, but I hope this video will help you get started in your exploration of TypeScript. Thanks for watching and have a great day.